Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4 of Life is Strange, Dark Room. This episode, from what I've seen, is about 4 hours long, so it's going to be a fair few episodes. Probably, if they're all like half an hour, then they'll be 8, so that can last me a while. But at least I have something to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which I ain't complaining about. So, less chatty, less, I mean, more starty. Let's do that. Let's go. Cutscene time. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have I to really regret trying to shoot him. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 
Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, you know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? I can do that. There's a cup right there. It has water in it. 
first, I'm gonna look at things. There's the old Chloe. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat ready. Chloe is still a punk at heart. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. What the hell is that shirt? <laughs> I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. I'm glad. Yep. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. I'm gonna get that water now, I suppose. Drink up, Buttercup. That rhymes. <laughs> oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here. Watching Power Rangers and Power Rangers, destroying oh, yeah. the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. True, true. Yeah, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh... <laughs> No pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Right here, we're gonna watch some Blade Runner. Where are the movies? In the drill, probably. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Check out my mixtape fam. dot com. What about this one? Ah, uh -huh. here's the DVD. Oh, uh -huh. put it in the DVD player, Bray. 
start watching some Blade Runner. Run with blades! I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Um, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Why do you keep it upstairs? It just makes everything difficult. It's not like she's the most mobile person there is. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her, and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But 
but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. Yeah, we'll do. I can't bother talking about a lot of the crap. It was so great talking with you again. She does need something. Like she needs her morphine. And you're too busy just here and talking really to want. William. Well, what do you want? That's a lot of messages that I can't really read right now. Actually, I might as well because I'm actually not even gonna really read them that much. So she is a. Yep. You know, friends with Nathan, I don't like that at all. At all. Yep. I go upstairs. Is there a damn light in here somewhere? Okay, what we're looking for some giant needle thing or something. I don't know. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Is that cool? The bathroom looks almost the same, just more medicine. Couldn't you have opened up both at the same time? Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Well, how's it going, time tripper? Funny, I think I look older. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. What's in here? Chloe's old room. Nothing. I'm sure this is a total coincidence. At least we never had to hide from step douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. That's not depressing at all. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Oh jeez, oh gosh, oh jeez. I never heard much about William's brother. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Well, I'll do it. They bought crutches for Chloe, <laughs> hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Cause fuck them, that's why. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Talking to it like it's an actual living thing itself and not just things living in it. 
It's Joyce. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Ah, yeah. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. Well... I remember. There's a good reason for that. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Meanwhile, Chloe's downstairs with head pains dying, and you're just talking to everyone. So I should probably get down there and give her her morphine quite quickly before she just decides, nah, fuck you, I'm gonna go get it myself. And then somehow summons the ability to walk, and then bitch slaps your ass, and then takes it from you, and then stabs yourself with it. Because that, that'll happen. I'm back. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. The Viagra? I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Winder, what's that, Winder? Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. The hell is that sound? And why are you gonna make everything depressing? I wonder if she looks at the grass and remembers that she Despite can't feel it anymore. Yeah, well, wait a minute. There's still a bit cool in this reality. Chloe really loves skating too. It's Spoonerism. What's he doing in here?